the sexually transmitted diseases, the some important STDs and common techniques for their detection. This chart will tell you what are the important STDs and the common techniques for their detection. First STD is chlamydiasis and the agent is chlamydia trochomanensis and the detection techniques are clinical and gram staining of discharge detection. So the whatever the discharge will come that will be detected by the gram staining and the nucleic acid hybridization. These are the latest detection techniques to find out the chlamydiasis diseases. Next is gonorrhea. The gonorrhea disease is caused by Neisseria gonariae and the detection technique is gram staining of the discharge and also the culture. Culture will be taken, it will be collected and hence the different types of tests will be done to find out the what kind of uh, uh, what kind of depth of the disease is there in this particular cases. Next is the trichomoniasis. The trichomoniasis is the causal agent is trichomonas vaginalis. It is mostly seen only in the vagina of the females, female reproductive system. So the name hence it is called as trichomonas vaginalis and the detection how to detect this the technique is microscopic examination and also the culture will be taken and it will be detected whether this particular um, uh, human being the female is having this particular trichomoniasis in its vagina or not. So this is called as the detection technique. Next is the genital herpes. The genital herpes is caused by herpes simplex virus. It is a viral disease and it is the clinical antigen test and PCR. PCR technique is used here to know what kind of genital herpes is there. Many many species are there in this. So this is the most common one in here that is the genital herpes. Next is syphilis that is a trypanema pallidum and the, this is the trypanida pallidum is the causative agent and detection technique is antibody reaction. Antibody detection and the antibody reactions will be done by the immunological techniques that is example is VDRL it is venereal disease research uh, laboratory. So venereal disease research laboratory we call it in short form as VDRL. Next is chancroid disease and uh, it is Haemophilus duque is the agent and this is the uh, sexually transmitted disease. It is called the thing how to detect is clinical and also collection of the culture. Next is the genital warts. Genital warts are also the sexually transmitted diseases. This is the human papilloma virus. HPV very dangerous so this is the causal agent it is clinical and antibody detection is the technique used here and the culture hybridization they will know all these things through these techniques and the next is hepatitis B hepatitis B is hepatitis B virus it is a viral disease and the detection test is ELISA so with ELISA the we can know whether the hepatitis B is there or not and hepatitis C is hepatitis C virus detection is ELISA so AIDS AIDS as I told you it is acquired immune deficiency syndrome it is through the virus called as human immunodeficiency HIV virus and the detection techniques are ELISA and PCR so these are all the different uh, types of sexually transmitted diseases and how to the common techniques for their detection. Now actually the government of India, government of India has been giving lots of immunization uh, programs, immunization programs for the infants and also children. The children from 0 to 5 years, they must give polio, is it not? Polio vaccination. Wherever you go, uh, uh, yearly government of India is announcing this two to three times in the year as per the immunization 
chart and the schedule. It sees that we, we know that uh, when we compare with our uh, previous years or before independence or during the independence era, at that time to this time, polio has been eradicated from India because the government has implemented so many techniques for the children or infants, the immunization techniques and programs. And also, government of India is also giving so many, it is launching so many programs for the women and the young children. For women, that means the mother who gives uh, delivery to a young one good food must be given the nutritional food which the nutritional food which is comprising of carbohydrates proteins lipids vitamins minerals all these we things we call it as a balanced diet this kind of food must be given to the mother and also sees that the infants and the children especially the children from the age group of 5 to 10 or 13 years 